Officers report hearing shots and a blacked out bike fleeing. Detective Mike Lowry remains in critical Guys, position. let's run caps with what we got on the case. Kelly, run us through ballistics. So the slugs in Officer Lowry were SS-190. P90 fires that caliber, the Herstal. But these were subsonic 5.7 by 28s, custom rounds. I want to know who made those bullets. We are watching 4chan and cross-referencing the players in the market with the Fed's red lines. Mike's like a son to me. I want this asshole. This is personal for me, too. Let's bring every single thing we got, all right? You got it. Te dije muy claro que Lori el que se moría después, hasta el último. Yo soy el que está aquí. Yo aprendí cómo manejar las cosas, ¿está bien? Tú me entrenaste toda mi vida, mamá. El puto poli era una amenaza, los otros no son nada. ¿Me escuchas o no? Porque quería que él viera morirse a los demás, por eso. Nada más termínalo. No me vuelvas a desobedecer. Retired DA Rodrigo Vargas was gunned down this afternoon. The DEA is warning Dr. Jack Weber this evening, a 20-year forensic investigator for the agency in Miami. There you are. And yet another execution-style homicide. <laughs> Judge Leon Sorensen was shot outside his courthouse late Wednesday. Three other law enforcement personnel have been killed that could be linked to our case. It's a war on the goddamn law. All the same shooter as Mike. We're connected how? Traffic cams, witnesses, tire treads. All put the same blacked out bike at the scene. We want to thank you all for joining us today. It means a lot to the family. And I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. I really got to stop crying like this. are great. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our first toast. I'm going to bring up Officer Mike Lowry, affectionately known as Uncle Mike. <laughs> First off, Reggie, I am shocked that you are even still here. <laughs> I remember your first date with Megan. Uh, trust me, me and Marcus did everything we could possibly do to make sure you never came back. Yeah. But I'm telling you, love is hard, and your relationship will be tested. And your father and I have weathered storm after storm. We have a mantra 
that we say to each other in our darkest days, and it always seems to bring us back together. Reggie, Megan, I would like to share it with you. We ride together. We die together. Bad boys for life! <laughs> No. No what? You know what? From the minute I heard you were still breathing, I I've been waiting for this shit to hit the fan. Look at me, Mike. No. You don't even know what I'm going to say. I know, I know you. I know what you're going to say. Ammo's got this. Ammo. Come on, Cap. Ammo, with, with all due respect, Ammo is a high school musical boy band with guns. Look, they don't even have shit. How do you know what they have or don't have? They have. What do they have? They have. What? The bullets they carved out of you. They were custom rounds for the P90 Herstal. Ammo's going to find the dealer that supplied your shooter. Wow. Oh. State of the art police work. That's how. Yeah, look, all right. Sir. Sir, you are desperate, but I can't. Mike, I can't let you investigate your own case. All right, all right. Let me investigate the Vargas case. No. The last thing I need is having IAD shoving a Hubble telescope up my ass for a full-on colonoscopy. You know the rules. Fuck the rules, Cap. Come on. Put me and Marcus on this shit. Have you talked to your partner? You retired? It's my daughter's wedding, Mike. Do we have to do this right now? Uh, yeah. I told you I was retiring. What? what? Wait, nah, hold up. We raced, you lost. Now you reneging? What happened to Bad Boys for Life? Yeah, for life. It's off. You died. What? What the hell are you talking about? You coded out, Mike, three times. Marcus, look. This motherfucker stole something from me, and I need it back. What did he take from you, Mike? You're still here. All he took from you was the legend. Bulletproof Mike. But I saw you on the ground bleeding. You're human, just like the rest of us. Yeah, his ass bleeds too. <laughs> I'm telling you, Mike, if you go out there for vengeance, you're gonna get someone killed. Oh, we definitely bringing some smoke. That fool put holes in me. And you're filling them with hate, Mike. You need to start thinking about your karma, man. This was a sign. A sign, yeah, a sign to turn up. So I'm supposed to bow down now, get this bitch a pass? Turn up? What are you, 20? You need to turn that shit off. You know, Mike, Rita called me every day you were in the hospital. There's something still there, a future. My future is hunting this motherfucker. Well, it's not mine. All right, so let me, let me get this straight. So, somebody get to dump my ass out in the street, and you ain't gonna do shit. You just gonna quit. How dare you, man? I sat by your bedside. I wiped the drool off your chin, Mike. Don't disrespect me like that, because you don't know. Look, Marcus, I'm asking you. I'm begging you, man. I need this. Bad boys. One last time. No, Mike. No.